Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are here, all the forefathers of the church here, celebrating this Eucharist to remember our near and dear ones, All Souls Day, praying for the departed near and dear ones of our parish. And therefore, you are requested to recall to your mind your near and dear ones and pray for them at this Eucharist. Secondly, remember also those people who have no one to pray for them. We offer a short prayer for their departed souls. Second of November is a day for us, specially set apart to remember the people gone before us with the hope of meeting Jesus again. I am the resurrection and the life, he said. He who believes in me will never die, but will live with him. That is the assurance and with that assurance we are here celebrating this Eucharist for our near and dear ones departed family members as we are praying for them also remember to pray for us who are living here on earth that we realize the value of life and use it in such a way for the betterment of ourselves, for our people, for our community as a whole. And therefore to be found worthy to take part in the celebration of the Eucharist, let us pause for a while, recollect and prepare ourselves. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed it's Mary, Mary ever-Virgin, ever -Virgin, all the angels, angels and saints, and, and you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters to, to pray, pray for me to the, to the Lord our, our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord. And as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
a reading from the second book of uh, Maccabees. Judas, the leader of the Jews, took a collection from the people individually, amounting to nearly 2,000 drachmae, and sent it to Jerusalem to have a sacrifice for sin offered, an altogether fine and noble action in which he took full account of the resurrection. For if he had not expected the fallen to rise again, it would have been superfluous and foolish to pray for the dead. Whereas if he had in view the splendid recompense reserved for those who make a pious end, the thought was holy and devout. This was why he had this atonement sacrifice offered for the dead, so that they might be released from their sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks, to Thanks Lord. be to God. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized in his death. In other words, when we were baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death. So that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, so we too might live a new life. If in union with Christ we have imitated his death, we shall also imitate him in his resurrection. We must realize that our former selves have been crucified with him to destroy this sinful body and to free us from the slavery of sin. When a man dies, of course, he
he has finished with sin but we believe that having died with christ we shall return to life with him christ as we know having been raised from the dead will never die again death has no power over him anymore the word of the lord thanks be to god please stand for the gospel your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord jesus said to the crowd all that the father gives me will come to me and whoever comes to me i shall not turn him away because i have come from heaven not to do my own will but to do the will of the one who sent me now The will of him who sent me is that I should lose nothing of all that he has given to me and that I should raise it up on the last day. Yes, it is my father's will that whoever sees the son of son and believes in him shall have eternal life and that I shall raise him up on the last day. The gospel of the Lord praise to you lord jesus christ today we celebrate all souls day and this day reminds us not only of death that is life one day comes to an end which is a fact this day also reminds us of life that lies ahead life after death which is the resurrection of the dead Dear brothers and sisters once there were two close friends both the girls had not met each other before they joined a certain institute but after joining they began a new friendship and soon they become very close apart from the regular friendship that exists between any two friends these two girls were religious also they were very religious and pious so their friendship involved praying worshiping together going to church as life went on their friendship flourished then suddenly due to certain sickness one of that girls died naturally the other one began you know crying for her friend she lost a dear friend she could not bear the loss but of course life had has to carry on as days passed on this girl began to feel something a kind of confusing dream about her dead friend see she was troubled with that since she was a religious person she shared it with her spiritual director who advised her to pray for the soul of her friend offer masses for her she began doing that to her surprise she felt a sense of calmness she felt that the masses she offered the prayer she offered was helpful 
and she began to feel a satisfaction that it is her friend was helped by that then she stopped dreaming or rather her friend stopped coming in her dream it was as if you know she came asking for prayers your brothers and sisters dead people cannot pray for themselves or praise god we read that in prophet isaiah as well as in psalms it is the living like you and me can worship him praise him in the seed for others as well as for ourselves we can intercede for those living as well as for the dead especially the dead who are totally dependent on us for their spiritual help only after losing something we understand its value the greatest advantage of this flesh and bone that we have is our ability to pray for ourselves as well as for others our ability to communicate with god not only spiritually but also physically in the reception of the holy eucharist the body of christ praying for dead or life after death is not based on any blind belief scriptures mention it in various places be it the story of rich man and the lazarus where both of them after death you know go to uh, different places lazarus reaches god not the other person take the example of saint paul he never met jesus incarnate he only met the resurrected jesus and his life was transformed resurrection is all over the gospels and all over the new testament it may seem like it is found only in the new testament but if you had paid attention the first reading from the old testament which we read also speaks of resurrection of the dead do you remember the name of the book from which we read the first reading it is from the second book of maccabees in that we see a certain jewish leader organizes sacrifices for the sins of the dead that was a kind of prayer offered for the dead for their repose somewhat similar to what we do we pray for them we offer masses for them this affirms our belief in the resurrection of the dead often the irony is we believe in the resurrection of the dead but we completely forget that we to await resurrection and that requires a life that must confirm with what a god expects we live as if there is no life after death sometimes dear brothers and sisters if there is no resurrection then it is foolish to pray for the dead these words are not from the new testament these are from the old testament reading that we read today that we heard from the first reading on this day although the importance is given in praying for the dead which we must every day it is built upon the belief of the resurrection of the dead and that life does exist after death this life is not the ultimate this life is passing and there is life after death while we must pray and offer masses for the benefit spiritual benefit of those who have gone before us we must never forget to teach the next generation and pass on this belief and practice otherwise who will pray for you and me after some times dear brothers and sisters it is really beneficial for them when we offer masses for the dead do you know sometimes some kind of someone dear to us or someone close or known to us who had passed away many years ago suddenly appears in a dream and you get confused why am i suddenly dreaming of this person after so long it may be possible that the person is in need of your prayers or in need of masses and asking you to pray for the repose of that person's soul have we had such dreams don't get scared it's it could be a just a request for a prayer that's all be aware of it next times never forget to pray for those who cannot especially the dead
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of the whole holy, holy church. church. Let us pray. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servants may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united. Who live the reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your lift spirit. Up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is Lord right and, and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned. That those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, Life is change not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you
in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Oswald our Bishop, his auxiliaries, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light. of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ Through him with him in him in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours almighty father forever and ever Amen. At the serious command and formed by divine teaching we day to see our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostle peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen. amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, I'm not worthy, worthy that, you should, that you should enter under my roof, but only, but only say, say the word and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you, in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and th all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through the spiritual communion. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your departed servants, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, praising the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be to, God. to God. We pray now for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show love to all creation everywhere, you graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be attentive to my prayer.
The final commendation. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, by the three days you lay in the tomb, you made holy the graves of all who believe in you. And even though their bodies lie in the earth, they trust that they like you will rise again. Give our brothers and sisters peaceful rest in these graves. Until that day when you, the resurrection of the life, will raise up in glory. Then they see the light of your presence, Lord Jesus, in the kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. Let us pause in silence and pray for all those who have passed from life to death and from death to eternal life. Christ was the first to rise from the dead and we know that he will raise up our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. We commend our brothers and sisters to the Lord. May the Lord receive them into his peace and raise them up on the last day. We have the blessing of the God. On behalf of the parish team, I would like to thank all those who have helped us with this recording, especially the choir and the technical assistance provided by parishioners. Thank you very much.